Hello, all you beautiful yarnaholics and crocheaholics. I am gonna show you my yarn stash today. Why would you wanna see my yarn stash? Well, maybe there's a surprise yarn in there you never heard of. Or maybe there's a yarn you've heard of but you forgot about. Maybe you've got some yarn stuck back in your yarn stash that you need to dig back out. Or maybe you think I need to hear about some new yarns that are not in my yarn stash. If so, comment on this video. I wanna know. I wanna know about all the yarn. Maybe you know about a sale coming up that we all need to know about. Comment on this video. I want to know. Maybe you're making something with one of the yarns I have in my yarn stash. I really want to know that. Tell me what you're working on. I want to know that. Also, if you like talking about yarn and talking about crochet, please subscribe to my itty bitty baby YouTube channel. I would appreciate it so much. I am trying to be a bigger part of the crochet conversation and guess what? It's worth it because there are no crochet machines. There's knitting machines and knitting is beautiful when done by hand or by machine. But crochet is only done by hand, stitch by stitch. And I love to talk about it. And I think you love to talk about it too. And it's a beautiful, wonderful conversation to have because this is a craft that is passed on one person to one person and you do it by hand and it's just lovely and it's full of love. So subscribe to my Itty Bitty Baby YouTube channel. Click like on this video. That will help this video be pumped out into the greater crocheters conversation. And if you know a crocheter who might enjoy talking about these things, please share this video with them. Share it on your Facebook page. Share it wherever you think somebody else wants to talk about crochet. And if you wanna talk more about crochet, comment on this video. All right, let's go look at this yarn stash. Okay, this is most of my stash. This will overwhelm some of you, underwhelm others of you. I have it fairly organized. I have a little bit of yarn in other places, but this is most of it. And uh, I don't buy any yarn full price unless I have a commission piece with a time limit on it. In, in that instance, I'll, I'll buy the yarn at whatever price I can get my hands on it for. Uh, but most of this, I will look for sales, uh, coupons. If they can stack a sale and a coupon, I do that. And, and I really try to be very smart about that. I don't just impulse buy yarn ever, unless I buy just one skein to see how it works up. So let's go see. Um, I bought this shelving unit from Amazon. It's got wheels, uh, super convenient if somebody in my family needs me to get this out of the way. Uh, so we're gonna start at the bottom. At the bottom is one of my favorite yarns to work on and it is extremely useful for uh, winter time. I do a lot with this yarn. In the winter time, I make hats cowls and uh, pocket shawls with this and it's Lion Brand Heartland. It has lots of colors. They're named after um, uh, national parks and stuff like that, the different colors names. You can see that, um, you know, some of these, um, this is Lion Brand Woolies right here, but the rest of these is Heartland. And you see, I've dug into some of these skeins. It looks a little bit messy right now, pardon that. Um, I really want to recommend checking out Perfect Pocket Pocket Shawl by Sonia Hood. You can find that online. That's a great pattern. Very popular pattern. Easy to make. Fun to make. I love it, love it, love it. I make it a lot. I've sold a lot of them. So if you're a crocheter, look up Perfect Pockets Pocket Shawl by Sonia, S-O-N-J-A Hood. It's a great uh, pattern. Uh, and let's see, uh, up here, let's see, I usually buy this at Joann's. Um, I, there's usually the best sales on Line Brand and Heartland Yarn is at Joann Fabrics. Uh, right here is, I love this cotton, and this is Hobby Lobby's cotton, and it is so soft. I started off buying yarn in the theme of the color schemes of the Friends sitcom. Uh, so I sell a coaster set on my website, figbasketcrochet.com, and you can see more there. Uh, but then I also got into this uh, yarn and made a couple of hat patterns. I started making a hat pattern called 3ML Beanie by Cookie Snob. And I adapted that pattern and kind of made it my own. Uh, and I, I, when I adapted it, I used the, this yarn and this yarn for that um, slouchy beanie pattern. But I recommend checking out 3ML Beanie by Cookie Snob. It's a very fun pattern to work up, really interesting texture. This is called KC yarn right here. I've made, whoopsie, I'll pick that up in a minute. <laughs> Occupational hazard, there we go. Um, so 
this KC yarn I think is discontinued. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I had gotten it on clearance, um, which is fine because when it's at full price, it's very expensive. It's like $15 a skein, but I got it at like $3.97. Um, these are miscellaneous yarns that I bought to play around with. Uh, so let's see, this too, this is more Hobby Lobby acrylic yarn in here. Here's a bunch of cotton yarn that I used to make um, uh, face scrubbies, dishcloths, uh, that kind of thing with all this cotton yarn. Again, I, for cotton, I look when it's on sale. I have discovered that a lot of cotton yarn, like this purple yarn here, is not color fast. So be aware of that. Not all cotton yarn is color fast. So if you are going to buy a bunch to make some gifts, uh, do a little test for yourself and see if when you run it under water, it runs clear or if the color runs out. Uh, and if, if it is not color fast, you can still make those gifts, but still advise the people that you give it to that it's not color fast and they should wash it separately at first. In this bag is a bunch of Lion, Band, uh, Lion Brand True Boo yarn. It's this beautiful, soft hemp yarn, super silky and soft. You can kind of get an idea there if I get close. I make a lot of lacy, kind of all season shawls and scarves with this yarn. It, it just flows and drapes so beautifully. Some really nice colors available in this yarn also. Uh, and up here, uh, oh, let's see, I've got miscellaneous. I have a lot of um, Karen Simply Soft yarn. I have some um, uh, uh, Afghan projects that are, are waiting for me that are calling my name and I've pre-bought the color schematics, but I'm not going to open this bag. But it's a really nice, soft, shiny acrylic yarn that I like to work with a lot. Uh, and that's this up here. This is the Harvest Colored Afghan that I'm supposed to be working on soon. Uh, and then let's go across the room. Let's say hi to Frodo. He's my older boy dog there and he's waiting for dinner. All right, this is kind of our guest room slash my older son who's at college room slash my husband's office. Okay, over in this bag, um, I have put my um, all this velvet yarn. I like Bernat velvet and then Bernat has a baby velvet somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, Bernat baby velvet, kind of the same thing. And uh, I, with these, have made neck warmers and I have made uh, uh, velvet scrunchies and I've made wine bottle gift bags. Um, I've probably made something else. I can't think of anything else right now. I'll probably make some uh, ear warmers or headbands for those coming up. Um, and then also um, Yarn Bee um, Velvety Smooth Yarn is from Hobby Lobby. They have some really rich, deep colors. One of my favorites is the red. This is such a deep, lovely red uh, there. And then also together in this same bin, I have got Blanket Yarn. Um, some fun blanket yarn. Uh, I've made uh, neck warmers with this blanket yarn. I have made scrunchies with the blanket yarn. I'm gonna make some more of those coming up. Uh, when I tried the scrunchie with the blanket yarn, it held snugly on my hair, but did not pull my hair. And so I think it's worth making a lot more of those. Um, and I also make eye maker remover pads with these. These really are soft on the eyes and do a great job at removing the makeup. I wanted to point out that a lot of these plastic containers, I've gotten to the point where if I buy a new blanket or, um, or set of sheets or whatever, um, I do not throw away this handy dandy, super sturdy plastic thing that zips up. And I use those for a lot of my yarn storage. So you saw that over here with the Trubu yarn and with these um, uh, Karen Simply Soft. Karen is K-A, sorry, C-A-R-O-N. Uh, so, and then, uh, oh, for the, uh, when I set up a, at a Christmas bazaar in December, I wanted pre-orders to be available. So what I did with all of the Lion Brand Heartland yarn was um, I just crocheted a little swatch and put them in Ziploc bags with the name of the color of the yarn in case people wanted to pre-order a color of, of a pocket shawl or a hat that I did not have in stock. Uh, so I'm hanging on to this. I need to add a couple of colors to it. Uh, and then down here, another uh, one of my favorites, I'm not gonna unzip this bag, is a Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. I, Lion Brand is such a great line of yarn. Um, lots of this, I, I've made a bunch of coasters in here and I'm, I'm working on an, an overarching project with these. So I'm trying to keep everything all together in this bag that you see, uh, let's see. 
all these different colors in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got another order of yarn coming in, uh, and what I'm going to do is make uh, smaller squares and stitch them together into multicolored uh, placemats and put those together with coasters for placemat and coaster set. These coasters, I did another video about these, they are Jasmine Star Stitch. And so I'll be doing placemats and coasters with the Jasmine Star Stitch theme. And I think that's gonna be super fun. I'll have some that are, that are subtle matching color combinations and then I'm gonna do some kind of funky, eclectic, offbeat color combinations with this. So, Here's my other dog, Luna. She annoys Frodo. There we go. Uh, so anyway, so that is my stash. Oh, 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 let me show you. Um, this is from Purple Lamb Fiber Arts. This is uh, her hand dyed yarn. She's an indie artisan uh, yarn dyer in Irving, Texas. And I just love her colorways. This one I think is called Netherland Park, is that right? Uh, isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous? Uh, last summer I made a lot of lacy summer shawls with her sparkly hand dyed merino wool. Yes dogs, shake it off. Um, I made a lot of those, it's a high quality yarn. She has beautiful colors. She's got muted tones, deeply vibrant saturated tones. So um, there's that. It is more expensive yarn and it is worth it. So I have to kind of save up to be honest when I buy her yarn, uh, but it is worth it. And I love supporting her Purple Lamb Fiber Arts. So check her out. Or if you have a local indie dyer, check them out and throw a little bit of business their way. They work so hard to give us all of these beautiful yarns to work with. Uh, so that's what I've got in stock right now. I got to pick that mess up right there. Uh, and I wanted to share that with you all. So uh, share with me any projects you're making, any yarn that you have found that you love. Uh, I would love to hear your ideas. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like this video, share this video with other crocheters if you like, and uh, let me hear from you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.